Okay, creatives, you are going to want to dial in this episode because we are talking with a woman who is a creative and she has built a business that has gone international and is incredibly successful. So join me in welcoming Stephanie Jimenez-Schiller to the show. She is a Texican mixed media artist and founder of Vogue Vignette, a creative agency that specializes in transforming guests into high fashion works of art. She does it all live. So we're going to hear her story. Welcome to the show, Stephanie. Hi, Midori. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very honored. So I want to dive in because this is a short show and I want to know all the most important nuggets right away. So yeah. tell us, how did you go from being in art school to creating an international business? That's an excellent question. Um, <laughs> and it all started with me being just really broke and really sad. <laughs> <So> <laughs> that was a really good way to start a business. Um, so I was a struggling artist for a really long time. I taught fashion illustration, um, made some of the best work that I felt like I had ever made. And I still was not making ends meet. Like I was really struggling. Um, I met with a couple of business mentors, Mike Harkin and Richard Jaswiakowski, and they helped me take this whimsical artist brain and turn it into the brain of a businesswoman, someone who had focus and had metrics that she was trying to reach and knew how to manage her finances better. So they were really wonderful at helping me grow up a little bit, but they um, I have to attribute so much to, to them because they, they definitely helped me go from just being a really creative person to like also, um, figuring out how to really run a business. Um, I, in the beginning I was doing, um, illustration, uh, illustrations for events for companies like Ralph Lauren, Neiman Marcus. They started reaching out very randomly because I um, you had extensive background in fashion illustration. And over time, it has just grown from me working for, for wonderful clients to us having a team of eight artists that we book for events all over the country and all over the world now. Um, it was, it has been a very long, joyous and challenging process. And I, six years into it, I am blown away that we're still just getting started, that something new is is happening and we're growing and building. And um, it's exciting as, you know, a Mexican-American woman to be able to help support others to help them launch their own artist businesses to to give them insight into all of the things that I struggled with at the beginning because this has definitely been just a learning process throughout since it founded to even now I feel like I'm constantly like wait what <laughs> nobody told me how to do this part so what is happening um yeah that's always a bit of the business <laughs> journey, right? The entrepreneur journey. You think you got it down. And then all of a sudden there's something that comes up and kind of mm -hmm. shakes us up a little bit. So when you were, I mean, I'm guessing when you were in um, art school, you weren't thinking I'm going to start a business and become an incredible entrepreneur. No, not at all. I just wanted to be a fashion designer and make clothing. And that apparently is a lot harder than a college student realizes um but the illustration was always something that I was really passionate about since I was really little um my parents were very mindful of making sure that I was able to do all of the different activities that I wanted hobbies any kind of art they were they were there to support that so I'm very thankful and I want to make sure that I'm able to provide that for um my nieces my nephews my friends like for all of these budding artists that continue reaching out um you know it's it's humbling to go from having dreams to actually seeing it fulfilled but in a different way than I ever imagined it would be 
Yeah, I imagine that you have inspired so many people around you, not just within your family, but also those who you are taking into your wing. You said you have eight illustrators now that are working Mm -hmm. for you. So let me ask you this. When you are faced with a big challenge in your business or in a high stakes type of decision, Mm -hmm. who do you turn to? What do you do? Do you have a process for that? Oh, a hundred percent. Um, meditation is always a big part of it. I have a really amazing therapist. <laughs> That's so helpful. We need she's that. So right? good. <laughs> um, so she's definitely been like great for personal reasons, but also she's wonderful at um, just kind of talking through some of the the growing pains that we're you know, facing and going through my business mentors are ones that I reach out to as well. Um, My mom is also the Vogue Vignette booking manager. So I turn to her a lot for advice, comfort, motivation. Um, If I'm feeling stuck one day or, um, you know, in a mood, which sometimes entrepreneurs can like get into their own headspace. Like it's nice to be able to have people like her, my husband, um, many of my best friends who are also entrepreneurs. So it's it's helpful to talk to friends like TK Tunches. She's the founder of Las Ofrendas and she's, um, it's always encouraging to, to talk to her because she's doing her own thing. So it's nice to have someone who understands where you are, where you've been, where you're going. So being able to have those close relationships um, has been absolutely crucial to the growth of the company, but also my own personal growth as a business owner and artist. Um, it's it's a process growing her up because I'll, lots of times I still feel like my little you know, I still feel like boo-boo. I still feel like a little girl who just wants to like tumble. I need to stop doing this with my hands. Um, <laughs> I'm right here. It's part, the artist, it's part of the artist part. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, it's, it's, we do get stuck in our head. This is one of the mm-hmm. biggest things I see with the entrepreneurs, especially now that we're, you know, so many of us are working from our own homes or, you know, yes, the team. Right. And so, it's something that can stunt our growth mentally, mm-hmm. but also business-wise. And so having those connections of people who understand it yes. and are like-minded because sometimes yes. when we're talking to people who are just, uh, who are not used to the entrepreneurial path, mm-hmm. their perspectives may not be in alignment with really what you need to truly And they're very good at giving you advice on what you should be doing with your business. And I'm like, yes uh-huh. <laughs> if you can see her for those of you who are just in the audio she's kind of like uh yeah and you can see her eyes searching in the in her brain where you're like wait a minute how do I how do I respond to this person who doesn't quite get yes the, the whole um the whole picture right and mm-hmm. uh, having to come from that different brain you mentioned in the beginning you when you were in art school you were learning how to create your craft, how to be the best at, at what you went to school for, right? But mm-hmm. entrepreneurship is such a different beast for, Absolutely. you know, regardless of whether you're creative or not. When I have a lot of women who come from the corporate world into entrepreneurship, it's it's like you're talking a different language, right? It's yes. A, it takes a different part of your brain and it's a different mm-hmm. understanding. So um, I, I get what you're saying. So when you are talking to someone who comes to you, maybe it's a new entrepreneur and they come to you and they're like, Stephanie, what do I do? How do I create a thriving business that scales and, um, and brings me these, these dreams that I want to create? What is your key piece of advice that you offer to them? I now having started this business, my main thing is find some business mentors who are going to help answer those questions that you don't even know you have yet and make sure that you put together the most solid business plan before you 
take off on your journey as an entrepreneur. Um, I meet so many people who have these big ideas and goals for what they want to do and start it. And I, trust me, I was one of those people who it's like, well, I'm just going to be an artist. I don't need a business plan. <clears throat> but having gone through that process and recognizing how crucial it was to me being able to stay on the right path and accomplish pushing the goals that I set forth before myself, like that has been the blueprint and the map for everything that we're doing right now. Um, the growth, I mean, it's all things that I put in the business plan and I'm still kind of shocked that it's actually happening because I'm like, what, wait, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't actually mean we were going to do that. It was just a lofty goal. Um, <laughs> but it's happening. It is. So that that's the one thing that I tell everyone to do. I went to SCORE. They offer um, free mentors who specialize in the area that you are, are needing assistance. I, again, I had two wonderful um, mentors who helped me develop that and give me a better idea of what am I actually doing? How do I actually run a business, a profitable business? And not just how do I, not just how do I make money off of this hobby that I have, but how do I really go into this as a serious business owner and really accept like, okay, it's like, it's a big, it's a big task. I feel like as a person, a human to really take on the challenge of starting their own business. It's very easy to to want to do it and to have these ideas. And it is a completely different thing to actually sit down and say, okay, I am going to eat, sleep, drink, and dr like all of the things, this company and recognizing that that is a part of it. And if you're ready for it, then let's go. And if you're not, then like, just recognize that this is a huge part of it it's a huge investment of time energy soul art all of the things support from your family <laughs> my husband definitely like has helped me at events before being my assistant so just knowing that like it takes a village to make your dreams happen but it also takes a really good roadmap of where you're gonna go otherwise you just I, I know for myself I get very distracted and I'm in a million different places at any given time. And I have to go back to that blueprint and say, okay, this is where you got off track. This is why it happened, but let's figure out where we really need to go in order to meet the goals that we have each year, each decade, et cetera. Yeah. And staying, staying focused. Mm -hmm. One of the big things I have a company called fuel the fire. And that's one of the pillars that we have in there is we call it the summit goal mapping framework. And your summit is where are you going? What's that? Yes. Focus, right. So that's, we have a 12 month and we have a three year and a 10 year. <clears throat> where are you going? And then we have a, what's called approach goals, which are your 90 day or your quarterly goals, which mm -hmm. build up mm -hmm. to that big summit. And what I tell people all the time, I'm like, you may not know exactly how you're going to get to that summit yet. Mm -hmm. But if you are staying focused, like you had mentioned, Stephanie, if you're staying focused and you're doing exactly what you said you're going to do, and you're not going off on these different crazy paths or these shiny objects, you will, it, the, the roadmap will become clearer and clearer as you go. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to have that intention and that clarity of where you are going and then take the consistent action steps that are very intentional mm -hmm. to be there. And like you said, I mean, you know, when you came out of, of, I keep on referring to when you came out of art school. And the reason why I keep referring back to that is because I know so many people who come out of art school and they stay broke for so, so long until they go get a job, which is not in alignment yeah. with them, not their passion and they're sad, right? Mm -hmm. You did not do that. You created this <laughs> business <laughs> doing these beautiful, I mean, you have to go look at our website, but these beautiful sketches of vignettes. And, and then you figured out a way how to scale and how to create this international business and how to stay in alignment with what mattered to you, where you're giving back to other artists and helping mm -hmm. them grow their business and stay in alignment with what they want. And truthfully, as women, there's nothing better when you can do what you love. 
And you can stay in your passion and you can, you can align your core values, your core values being the art and then also helping others. It sounds like, man, the world is a great place to be, right? Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, it's very exciting to be able to be in that place. Sorry, someone's singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's other artists in, in your world. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. I mean, it's it's very humbling as well because I'm constantly confronted with, you know, what feeling like a fraud and feeling like I am not a reader. I am not like I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Like I'm figuring it out as I go. So it's it's been humbling to grow a team of people who are like, hey, we see we see you, we see what you're doing, we see what you're capable of doing, and we want to learn from that, and we want to like we want a piece of that. Like let's go then. Like awesome. we're growing, the demand continues to grow. It's like if there are people who are hungry for it and artists who want to figure out how to do this for a living, then I mean what else can I do but share what is, that What is your next big goal with your business? Oh is it just continuing God. to scale? What What is your next big goal? Yeah, so it's a couple of goals that we have. And actually, you mentioned the summit goal um, that uh, I, I listened to one of your podcasts Cass, you, I forget the other lady who was interviewing you, but that was one of the things that I really took from it was like, just this idea of the summit goal. I've never called it that, but it just felt like having that word made the goals that I, that I have in place, like it gave it like a place that could be reached and attained. And even six years later, I feel like that's something that I'm still learning, like yeah, girl, you have to know what you're doing. Um, but the things that are happening with Vogue Vignette right now, so one of our summit goals is we are really branching out Vogue Vignette. So right now we're based in Texas, based in Austin, Texas, but we do travel all over the country. We travel internationally. Um, but most of our artists are here in Texas. We just, um, one of my artists, Carmen, she was the first artist that Vogue Vignette ever contracted to work for an event so she's like my um you know she was our artist guinea pig she's just the kindest most wonderful human and and I you know I love her and all of the things that she brings to the table are um you know amazing talent like she's funny she's personable um a little cheeky sometimes um, so she recently moved to Alaska. So we are really branching out solidly into the Pacific Northwest. So Canada, um, Oregon, all of these areas that maybe we, you know, they're not going to want to have an artist from Austin come travel for a wedding, or maybe they do. If you do call me, um, you know, but it's, it's exciting to, to be able to, you know, the process that I did here in Austin and in Texas, like replicating that process over there. Um, so reaching out to prospective clients, marketing, advertising, like really taking what we did here, taking that groundwork, taking the, um, you know, really nourishing the network we have here and and doing that over there has been one of the biggest things you know definitely a challenge because it's a market that i'm not as familiar with so we've had to do so much research um find new clients like it's been a whole process but it's exciting to know that the joy that we spark at events here in texas is we're able to bring that because i will tell you I was just talking to this, talking to my um, social media and events manager this morning. Uh, a lot of her friends are from out of state or other countries. And there's nothing like Southern hospitality in the events industry. <laughs> like, I know that sounds so crazy, but I'm like, I'm from Texas. My parents taught me how to be a sweet, kind lady and to be really respectful of, you know, the people that I'm engaged with no matter where they're from, no matter who they are. And so to be able to have, you know, Carmen in the Pacific Northwest to bring that same Southern hospitality there, I think that's such a strong um, thing that separates Vogue Vignette because we are not only ridiculously talented, ridiculously good looking, but we're also just like really kind people who genuinely love what we do 
and want to continue making other people happy with the artwork that we create. Um, that's, the, that's the culture so, that you, yeah, create. absolutely. And I think, especially in the industry, I was, I was reading your bio and looking into you a bit. And so you go to a lot of these very high level, um, red carpet gala mm -hmm. and events, you know, with, with Vogue and with, um, all these designers. And mm -hmm. for those of us on the outside, quite frankly, <laughs> Um, those of us on the outside who don't get invited to these events, we have a certain uh, belief about them, right? Where it's kind of stuffy and not engaging and mm -hmm. embracing, right? Where I love what you're talking about, that you break that mold and you're okay with it. And that's what makes you so endearing and a company that stands out. I, I'm guessing that these people who hire you love you so much that that's one of the things that help them. So talk much. That's the word red, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, my God. I mean, so, definitely. Yeah. Yes. So where can people, so, so if you are looking for someone to come and draw live at your event and do these amazing vignettes, mm -hmm. where can people find out more information about you, Stephanie? Well, they can go to the Vogue Vignette website. Um, if you scroll through the website, there are many places where you can schedule a phone call or check av availability. And my mama, Gladys, is going to reach back out. She's the one who um, will, will talk you through what the process looks like, what it looks like for Vogue Vignette to be at your event, no matter what it is. Um, and you can also find us on Instagram and TikTok where Vogue Vignette official, our um, Vogue Vignette account got hacked in January. So I'm still like reeling from like the loss of <laughs> all of that Sorry. content, but we're rebuilding and, and it's just one of those things where you can be sad for a second and then it's like, all right, my grandma didn't raise me to like cry about this. Like she raised me to like, all right, pick yourself up and keep going. Yeah. Um, yeah. Find us on all of those channels. We'd love to to work with new clients. I it's it makes me happy to be able to share something that makes people smile and it makes them laugh and it makes them want to, you know, keep people keep their illustrations for so long. They frame them and hang them up in their offices or at home. So to be able to continue doing all of these things for um new new markets and new clients that we haven't met before I want to continue sparking joy through through the artwork that we make thank you so much and yes i invite all of you to go check her out especially if you're a creative go see what she's done go get some inspiration and in to how she's built her business it's quite inspiring and motivating and thank you so much for being here and sharing thank all your you wisdom. thank you so much midori i appreciate it to be the best, you need to play with the best. You might not have your own personal high-level circle of women yet, but you can hang with us on The Female Millionaire Show. I'm Midori Verity, serial entrepreneur for over 25 years, and I interview badass female founders and cut through to what you really need to know. So in 20 minutes, you have what can take years to learn. If you're wanting to play bigger, come play with us. Join the female entrepreneur revolution today. Cheers. Cheers.